product of disjoint cycles let sigma 1 and sigma 2 are two disjoint cycles of set s the product of two disjoint cycles denoted by sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 2 sigma 1 they can be calculated as follows consider the example let s is equal to set of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and sigma 1 and sigma 2 are two disjoint cycles defined on set s as sigma 1 is 3 4 6 sigma 2 is 1 2 5 observe that two cycles or two cyclic permutations there is no common element between them hence we can say that sigma 1 and sigma 2 are two disjoint cycles then find out the product of sigma 1 into sigma 2 and sigma 2 into sigma 1 okay so for finding out the product first they can be written in a permutation so the cyclic permutation can be rewritten as a permutation okay so sigma 1 contains what are the elements of set s that can be written in the first row 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay the second row contains the images of each and every element in the first row okay so by observing this cyclic permutation okay three image is four so three image is four four image is six four image is six six image is three okay image of the first element is the element which follows it four follows three hence we can say that three image is four 6 follows 4 that means 4 image is 6 image of the last element is the first element 6 image is 3 okay whatever the remaining elements that are not there in sigma 1 image of that element is same element so that means 1 is not there so image of 1 is 1 2 is not there image of 2 is 2 5 is not there, image of 5 is 5. Okay, next, in the same way, from this cyclic permutation sigma 2, the permutation sigma 2 can be written as in this way. So, whatever the elements in the set S that can be written in the first row. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The second row contains the images of each and every element in the first row okay so here image of 1 is 2 image of 1 is 2 image of 2 is 5 image of 5 is 1 okay image of this element is the element which follows it 2 follows 1 so that 1 image is 2 5 follows 2 so 2 image is 5 image of last element is first element so 5 is 1 image of 5 is 1 so whatever the elements that do not present in sigma 2 but present in s yes, so image of that element is same element here 3 is not there 3 is available here so image of 3 is same element that is 3 4 is not there here 4 is available so image of 4 is 4 6 is not available here in the s it is available image of 6 is also 6 so once we are getting the uh, permutations sigma 1 and sigma 2 this is the permutation sigma 1 is the permutation here sigma 1 is the cyclic permutation here sigma 2 is the permutation and here sigma 2 is the cyclic permutation okay so from this one how we are writing this one okay so here 1 1 same image 2 2 same image so they are not considered so 3 
फर्स्ट आई एम टेकिंग एलिमेंट थ्री थ्री इमेज इज फोर थ्री इमेज इज फोर फोर इमेज इज सिक्स फोर इमेज इज सिक्स फाइव इज फाइव दट इज नॉट कंसिडर सिक्स इज थ्री सिक्स इज थ्री ओके हियर वन इमेज इज टू टू इमेज इज फाइव फाइव इमेज इज वन द रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स contains the same image three image is three four image is four six image is six okay now we are finding out sigma 1 sigma 2 okay so for finding out the product first we have to write all the elements of set s in the first row 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now consider the first element okay here Uh, one image. First, we are considering the uh, sigma one permutation. One image is one. Go for element one in sigma two. One image is two. One image is one. Here, one image is two. Therefore, one image is two. Okay. Next, two image is two. Go for the element two in sigma two permutation. Two image is five. Two images to here. Two images five, so that two image is five. Next element three. Three image is four. Go for element four in permutation sigma two. Four image is four. Three image is four. Four image is four. Therefore, three image is four. Next one. Go for element four. Four image is six. Go for element six in permutation sigma two. Six image is six. Four image is six. Six image is six. Therefore, four image is six. Next, go for element five. Five image is five. Go for element five in sigma two. Five image is one. Five image is five. Five image is one. Therefore, five image is one. Next, go for element six. Six image is three. Go for element three in permutation sigma two. Three image is three. Six image is three. Three image is three. Therefore, six image is three. So this is the product of sigma one and sigma two. Next one, we have to find out the product sigma two sigma one. Okay. First, we have to write the elements of set S. Okay. Next. Images of second row. Uh, second row contains the images of each and every element in the first row. Okay. Now consider first sigma two. One image is two. Okay. Go for element two in sigma one. Two image is two. One image is two. Two image is two. Therefore, one image is two. Next one. Two image is five. Go for element five in sigma one. Five image is five. Two image is five. Five image is five. Therefore, two image is five. Next one. Three image is three. Go for element three in sigma one. Three image is four. Three image is three. Three image is four. Therefore, three image is four. Next one. Four image is four. Go for element four in sigma one. Four image is six. Four image is four. Four image is six. Therefore, four image is six. Next one. Go for element five. Five image is one. Go for element one in sigma one. One image is one. Five image is one. One image is one. Therefore, five image is one. Next. Go for element six. Six image is six. Okay. Go for element six in sigma one permutation. Six image is three. Six image is six. Six image is three. Therefore, six image is three. Okay. So this is the product of sigma two and sigma one. Okay. So observe this one: sigma one, sigma two, and sigma two, sigma one. One image is two. Here also one image is two. Two image is five. Here also two image is five. Three image is four. Here also three image is four. Four image is six. Here also four image is six. Five image is one. Here also five image is one. 
6 image is 3, here also 6 image is also 3. So therefore, sigma 1, sigma 2 is equal to sigma 2, sigma 1. Okay, so this is the product of two cyclic permutations. Okay, product of two disjoint cycles or a product of disjoint cycles. Okay, so in this way, we have to find out the product of two disjoint cycles. So this procedure we have to follow. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please share your valuable suggestions and please subscribe my channel so develop Srinivas now. Thank you.